Hey guys, what's up? Power of Boxing here, and uh, yeah, I haven't did a video in a while, just been been working a lot, but I think my last video was the Cotto Canelo uh, post-fight talk I did. That was a good fight. Uh, it was a close fight. Um, could have been a draw, uh, but it, it appeared to me, I've only watched it once, but it appeared to me live that Canelo won by a little bit, but I'd have to go back and score round by round because I didn't do it that way. But it seemed like it was a close, good fight and definitely didn't agree with the judges uh, how they had it so wide. But anyway, this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, Pacquiao will be announcing his opponent uh, according to Michael Kant's, his, uh, what do you call it, his advisor that Pacquiao will decide by uh, the end of tomorrow uh, his, his opponent that will be fighting him on April 9th on HBO pay-per-view. Uh, the venue will be in Las Vegas, but they don't know what exact venue in Las Vegas. But it will be April 9th, HBO pay-per-view. Of course, it will be H. Of course, it will be pay-per-view. Um, will it be his last fight? I don't know. A lot of articles saying this will be Pacquiao's last fight, but Pacquiao himself, I've seen in articles saying that he will keep fighting after this. So I don't really know. He will be running for Senate, and he might win a term to run for Senate, six-year term. But I've heard Pacquiao say he would love to be champion and Senate at the same time. That's the kind of guy he is, Freddie Roach said. And, or he would like to be president of the Philippines and be champion at the same time. Uh, so I don't know if this is the last fight or not. A lot of articles saying that. I've seen sources saying Pacquiao said this isn't his last fight, so I don't really know. Well, time will tell. But um, according to Bob Arum, he's absolutely positive he'll have the answer by the end of Friday, tomorrow. Um, and the three opponents that he has to choose from are Amir Khan, Terrence Crawford, and Timothy Bradley. Apparently, those are the three top names. Uh, so when I first... They've been throwing out these names for the last couple of months, especially Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan. They just started mentioning Timothy Bradley's name just because he looked good against Brandon Rios. I never did a post-fight uh, talk on that fight, but... Timothy Bradley looked that good because Brandon Rios was done. He was, he, like two weeks into camp, he wanted to quit. So, the guy didn't train for eight months straight. Didn't do, didn't go for a run, didn't lift a weight, didn't punch the bag for six months straight or something, or eight months straight. You, for his whole, the whole layoff in between the Alvarado fight, or uh, I think it was, or uh, I'm pretty sure it was the Alvarado fight. He didn't train at all after that fight. And you can't, you're going to be extremely rusty. Like, you're rusty enough when you're just doing regular training. But the fact that he wasn't even training at all. Like I said, I gave, I thought it was a, it was a unpredictable fight. But if Timothy Bradley did not get knocked out, he was going to win that fight. He was way above Brandon Rios. But Brandon Rios, like I said, uh, he had a chance because it seems like Timothy Bradley's been damaged goods lately. But um, anyway, did I was it a good performance by Timothy Bradley? Yes, but was it partly because Brandon Rios wasn't was already done before he stepped in the ring? That was part of it, um, and that's why he got the knockout. In my opinion, mentally, Brandon Rios was was quitting even before the fight. Two weeks into camp, he quit. So. Uh, but a good performance by Bradley. Um, like I said, if he fights Pacquiao, it'll be, a, it'll be, obviously it'll be a competitive fight, but we've seen it twice. Pacquiao won both. Um, and it's not the most exciting of fights. If you ask me, it's still good fights, but not, I think if Pacquiao fights Terrence Crawford, Americano, it'll be more exciting. It's new. We want to see something new. But obviously, I'm a fan of seeing Pacquiao Marquez five, even though that's seen we've seen it four times. They're really exciting fights, besides the third one. But um, so Timothy Bradley's name started to get mentioned after his win against Brandon Rios. But I honestly, I don't want to see him fight Timothy Bradley. Um, but reading this article, apparently Bob Arum does not want Manny Pacquiao to pick Amir Khan. He uh, he told Pacquiao that he told obviously. Uh, it's it's up to Pacquiao, he says, who he picks. 
but Aram told ESPN, would, it, would I rather pick, not would I prefer not to be Khan? He says, yes, I would not want it to be Khan because I don't promote him. His advisor is Al Heyman. He's suing Al Heyman, and he, like I say, he's not promoting him. So if he fights, if Pacquiao fights Terrence Crawford or Timothy Bradley, he's going to get, Aram's going to get more money into his own because he has both, those are, Terrence Crawford and Timothy Bradley are under Bob Aram too, so it's better for Bob Aram money-wise. And obviously he doesn't like Al Heyman, and he's they have problems there. So, but the re, apparently the reason why Aram said Khan was an option is because if the fight took place in in the Middle East, but it, since it's not going to be taking place in the Middle East, he doesn't want Manny Pacquiao fighting Khan at all. But Khan is still on the table, but and he could still fight Khan, but he doesn't think Manny will, and he told Manny he doesn't want to, so he probably won't happen. But before I read this, I thought he would pick. Uh, might pick Khan because I thought it, a lot of people know Khan. I think it'd do better in pay per view than it definitely would do better than paper for pay per view than Terrence Crawford. Um, Timothy Bradley will give him pretty it, decent numbers, but I think Amir Khan would honestly maybe do the best pay per view numbers. But. Uh, Obviously, a lot of people maybe wouldn't buy, though, because Khan's got a glass chin, but he's got a big fan base, Middle East, Britain. Um, but Khan's, Khan's a good fighter. He's a good boxer. He's got good speed, but you can time him, and he's got a weak chin. But other than that, he's he's good. Um, Terrence Crawford is obviously the best uh, fight like out of the three, but best-selling, probably not. But he's undefeated, he's hungry, uh, and it's something new. And it, it, you know what I mean, it can be, and he's he's offensive minded some a bit too. So you might see an exciting fight, but it's something new, and it definitely will it'll be a good challenge for Manny. But I'm not saying Khan wouldn't be, but I think Khan would get timed and get probably knocked out. But if Khan, like I said, if he has stronger chin, then. I think he'd be more appeal to the Pacquiao fight, but so who do you think Pacquiao will fight, guys? Let me know. Um, Pacquiao will say his opponent apparently by the end of tomorrow, a hundred percent, according to Michael Cons and Bob Arum. So we'll see if that happens. If they do, uh, who do you think it will be? Terence Crawford, Timothy Bradley, or Amir Khan? Or do you think it won't be either of those guys? Uh, let me know. Uh, I was going to pick Amir Khan, but then I read this saying Aram doesn't want him to, then I don't think Manny will pick Khan. And if you ask me, I think we're going to see Manny Pacquiao versus Terrence Crawford. But like I said, if I didn't hear Aram say that, I I think it would have been between Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan because Amir Khan better pay-per-view sales, and it would be an exciting fight because uh, Khan, when he gets hurt, he fights back. It would be exciting. Uh, and he's got speed. He's, he's a good boxer, but like I said, a weak chin. Uh, that's why a lot of people would pick back at a win. But And then Terrence Crawford, he uh, he doesn't have the pay-per-view uh, audience. He doesn't. A lot of people don't know him. Uh, but obviously the boxing fan knows him. It'd be a good challenge for Manny, but to be honest, we don't know how good Terrence Crawford is. That's why it'd be interesting to see how he, he would do against Pacquiao. How to see how Pacquiao's shoulder is. Um, but Terrence Crawford's best win is obviously over Gamboa. Gamboa is like five foot four, coming off a year layoff or something. He was rusty. Way too his reach was way too short. And he even he and he still hurt Crawford and did and did pretty well. So that's Crawford's best opponent he's ever faced. We'll see what he does against a, a little bit taller and be, better reach. Better boxer, better puncher in Pacquiao. See what he does, or his skills and his potential uh, level out to. We'll find out in the Pacquiao fight. Um, but then, yeah, Pacquiao's coming off the shoulder injury. We'll see how that happens. So it's uh, my opinion. It's going to be Terence Crawford, but like I said, I thought it would have been Amir Khan, but. The fact that Aaron doesn't want Manny to fight Amir Khan and he told him that, I don't think Manny would pick Khan then. So I'm going with Terrence Crawford. I really hope, though, I think if it was up to Aram, 
Aram would pick Timothy Bradley three. Uh, I just see that. I could see that happening. Aram wanting that and Manny just jumping on board with what Aram wants. But I hope it's Terrence Crawford and not Timothy Bradley because I've already seen that twice. It's not that it wouldn't be good. I, I still, I just, we've seen it twice, Manny won twice. I want to see something new and I, w I, I, wanna, I would rather see Manny Packer versus Terrence Crawford. So I think Manny, out of those three names, I think Aram would pick Bradley. Um, and, uh, but I think, I, I don't know, I honestly, the more I think about it, I think Aram would want Timothy Bradley and Manny will just follow with that. But if Manny disregards everything what Aram says, but I don't think he will, he would pick maybe Amir Khan or Terrence Crawford, but we'll find out what happens. I wanted to see Pacquiao fight Mayweather again for Marquez 5, but out of these three names, Amir Khan or Terrence Crawford uh, would be uh, my two picks. Definitely not Timothy Bradley, um, but Timothy Bradley, does he deserve it? He's Yeah, he's a top welterweight. He deserves it. I just want to see something new, though, but let me know what you guys think. And like I said, I know I would want to see Marcus 5, and that's not new, but those were exciting fights besides the third one. Uh, and they were really competitive. And I know the Timothy Bradley 3 fight would probably be competitive too, but we've seen those stylistic matchups. I want to see a new I want to see a new matchup. So uh, power up boxing, powering down, and let me know who do you think Pacquiao will fight uh, next, and who do you want him to fight next?